Okay, so I think I have uh, most of my sewing supplies here. Um, so I think I will uh, showcase the flower project first. Mainly because uh, the way I ended the last video, I said something about doing something subtle with a couple of LEDs and covering with a piece of orange silk. And, and then I found these. These. So last year for Pork Fest, more on that later, I bought a bunch of these things from one of those like oriental trading companies just a bunch of glow-in-the-dark balls and and glow studded bracelets and and these glow rings so instead of doing orange silk I thought this would be so much better <laughs> so there's obviously LEDs in here and in some adorable person far, far away in a way different time zone has made these especially for me. So this color looks very nice. I mean, that's not tacky at all. That, uh, well, I don't know if that's tacky, but I think it's pretty. <laughs> so if I wanted, I guess I could put fabric over that, but that would seem ridiculous. So what I'm going to try to do is just cut this and feed this through and uh, and I think that will be fantastic. And if you want to shut off, you just press on it. And then it looks like a regular old flower. I mean, that's that's so easy. I feel like I feel like I'm actually not doing any work, but but I'm gonna make it look like I'm doing a lot of work and for a lot of this uh, a lot of the uh, the the result of this is is just about having fun, anyways. And then. Um, as I specified too for this, I want to sew this together. So I'll show that just to give it that crunch look. And then I'm going to clip all these off and arrange them. And, uh, and I can do a, a vote all by myself, really democratic, to see which orientation looks best, looks most like a print. Okay. Okay, so um, I was originally thinking that I should probably do something off camera just to make sure that I know what I was doing but it really doesn't matter because I don't so I'm just gonna um, cut this off I was gonna feed part of this through and pull it but there's really nothing to feed through and it's a lot of work so I'm just gonna cut this and then use some of this glue and and, and then that's it I'm just glue it I really don't need to use these but they're there so uh, just cut this Oh, that's nice. Cut this. <laughs> okay. um. Yeah, teeth for getting off jars and saliva for making everything stick. Pretty much one of the most used tools ever, in my opinion. So uh, generally, I think the way this stuff works best is you just put a, an amount on one surface and uh, an amount on the other surface and uh, just wait a few minutes and then stick them together and forget about it for a little while. So we'll just put those aside. Yuck, it's really stinky. Okay. So, okay, so I think this has probably been about three minutes. So this is very technical. <laughs> just mush this down so the light might go off. But it's okay. Oh, no. You just push it down. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's going to make all the connections. So, yeah, it's like a golf ball looking centerpiece. Anyways, pretty neat. 
okay. It's uh, it's been a week and a half. I <laughs> I got really busy with work. So uh, this is done. I'm gonna show this so I can finish up this video and um, do my my bow tie one tonight. So I just want to show uh, how this works. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, a little loud, but it's supposed to be fun. And uh, yeah, so you put it in your hair. And uh, I mean, when it's off, this thing just does kind of remind me of different. Actually, it's kind of hard to push in. There we go. Not so bad. So uh, that's it. So I'm going to uh, get working on my bow tie one, which is a much more challenging project than this one. And uh, stay tuned. Okay, so I am going to um, start up this bow tie project again. So as I mentioned before, I don't really like the shape. It's a little flat, even though there's, you know, it is a traditional bow tie. It's just already been tied. So I want to add um, some more structure to it, give it a little depth so that when I put some lights behind it, they'll show off. And um, I just like the look of that. So I'm going to um, sew it so it will... Um, stay that way. So bow ties and ties have a lot of interfacing in here. Um, my needle, I feel it, I feel there's some burrs on here. Uh, it's a little better. So it's kind of hard to put through so you don't want to make too many passes but you also don't want to um, have your knot go through or have the string show. So I'm going to do my best looking over this camera <laughs> at two feet to anchor this knot in pass it through, knot it again, have it, give it the shape I want without having these uh, magic strings showing. This is, this is a uh, upholstery thread, so it's really thick. So I can tug really tight. So let's see if we can pass that through. So I'm just passing it under the band. I'm not really going through anything. And then I'm going to go through so that we don't see the string. Tuck that in there. Go all the way through. Back through. Come up here. Okay. So that looks good. So I'm going to make the knot, tighten it up even a little bit more. If you don't have upholstery thread, you can just use a uh, black thread. You can actually feed it through two threads at a time, so you have four strands total. But they can tangle easily, so you definitely want to run it through some wax. And that will prevent it, um, not prevent it, but certainly minimize any tangling. Okay. That's fine. Okay, that's much better. So now I'm going to arrange the, um, so I think I mentioned before I'm just using red and I'm actually, I'll, I'll just do this off camera. I'm going to test them all to make sure that they all work because I do have some loose ones that I've used in various things just for uh, testing purposes. So I want to make sure. And um, so I'm going to use two batteries. I believe I can power at least six with each uh with each battery and these are the the uh, coin cell battery holders those will get sewn in and uh okay so i will come back when i have a good arrangement i kind of want to do a, a print um facsimile like maybe looking almost like a paisley which is you know a little give it a little conservative look and then when you turn it on you get this uh kind of this wild light up surprise okay be back in a sec Okay, so I have my needle ready with conductive thread, and I made the knot and um, uh, just put a load of polish on there. Better to do it before than 
while it's on your project, especially if it's in a hard to reach area. So I made a diagram. It's, it's sometimes it's a good idea to do this um, because you really don't want to cross any wires and um, you know someone's wearing this very close to their face so you really have to um, pay attention to what you're doing so what I did was uh, all my all my seat these represent sequins all my sequins are facing the same way so that the uh, positive is on the left and the negative ground is on the right and so I just made a note so I'm gonna do my grounds first and I'm gonna make visible on the back um, so when I'm sewing the positive I see all of what I've previously done and I don't need to guess and there's no surprises that come up later so let me start with the first one okay. so I'm gonna start with the center one because I may not want to get to it later because it's way out in the center so pull this pin out and I'm just going to try to feed it right up through here pull it through and then rather than feed through the edge of this with the hole and the fabric several times I'm just going to wrap around the the sequin hole and then feed feed the conductive thread back through the fabric I just realized too, I could feed this ground wire to the coin cell battery on this side and then on on the uh, the positive one I could feed to the other one. That way I don't have to go back to that that other side and risk having to make a decision about that. So, okay, I actually just broke my own rule and, and I went through the fabric. I'm so used to sewing like that, but that's all right. I, um, it will anchor it a little bit nicer. So with this three ply and this pretty fat, yeah, see it actually, it is easier just to catch a little bit of the bow tie because it's really tight in there. I probably won't be able to make more than four passes this is plenty to make a connection and if it starts to get difficult on the last pass or last passes um, just grab um, some pliers and and pull it through okay so that would be the last one because that was a pretty good struggle oops probably don't <laughs> catch on stuff Okay, so now I need to decide which one I want to do first. So I think I want to just go in a line rather than coming up here and then visiting this and going all the way back. So I'm going to feed this all the way through and um, everything's going to be visible from behind so that I can see what I need to do. Okay, so I'm going to put this all the way through. Okay, so um, you want to bring this across and you can make a little tack, sorry, make a little tack just to grab a couple of threads, but for the most part you do want to keep it all visible on this back side. So the, uh, the negative's on the outside here, so we're just going to make sure the placement's pretty good. And bring that up through. Okay, so it might help if I take the pin out. Okay, it goes up. So make sure you haven't pulled it too tight, as long as it maintains the shape that you like. So this one I'm going to go through 
the bow tie, all the layers, and the holes. Because I want to um, ensure that the placement is perfectly horizontal. And this is how I'm going to achieve that. So I'll... Uh, actually, it's kind of easier to come right outside of the sequin and then go back into the hole. Especially if you're sewing a couple feet away from the your project. So I'll go around one more time just on this outside, the other side, and bring that through. Kay. And uh, so then we'll go to this middle one and again just going right over. I'm not going to grab any threads in between. It's a pretty short bridge. And make sure it's centered where I want it. Come up through. Okay, and pull that pin out. Okay, so um, I guess the rest of the demoing would be pretty repetitive. So I'm going to go ahead and and go ahead and do all of these negatives and start on the other side. Uh, so I'll do all the negatives first for both sides and then or grounds, whatever, and then I'll do the positive. So the way I'm going to, uh, after I do this one and this one, uh, to come back to this um, uh, one in the back is I'll be over here. So I'm going to come down down here and through the back, still keeping it all visible for my um, my negative line. Okay, so I'll, uh, I'm going to get this all sewn up and come back with some progress. Okay, so I finished sewing one side and I, uh, I'm ready to put my um, coin cell battery holder in. So I always, I guess, always <laughs> put the battery in like this. So that that bottom um, that bottom piece of metal will um, be the uh, the negative, which is what I'm working on now. So there's these two prongs here. I already um, bent them in, and it will help me feed this in. You can also just sew this onto the whatever project you're working on with regular thread, so it's it's stable and good, and and then do your work with the conductive. But I think I might do that later, just so I can show you. So, I'm going to see if I can feed that in there, and then feed this here. Okay, so that's in there nicely. And then I'm going to bring this up. So I ended up with about five inches of workable um, thread left, which is enough. That's pretty good. So again, I'm going to keep this all visible and just bring that up through the hole. So you can see there's, there's a hole through there. So we can just come up and just keep wrapping it around to make a good connection. And let's see. You won't have enough of a tail here. It's a pain when it falls out and you have to re-thread it through the needle eye. And come back up. So I guess I'd wrap this around a few times. You could also feed this under here. See that has a little thing in there. Could feed that under. Maybe to pinch it in there and convince yourself that maybe it's a better connection. And that way it does kind of anchor it. All right, so I'm going to stop this and finish finish this up, knot it, and uh, do a little nail polish, and then do the other side. 
Okay, so I finished sewing both sides. So what I did was, if we look back at the um, <laughs> little drawing, so that was the right side, and for the left side of the bow tie, I um, flipped it so it's a mirror image, so that it all looks the just like a mirror image on the back for me. That seemed easier. And um, what else did I do? Also, this I f I took off and flipped because the way it was after I made the connection when it was on the other side, it was too close to that and. Uh, don't want metal touching metal if it's going to produce something that I don't want to happen. So uh, anyways, so that's it. So now I'm going to go ahead and do uh, the positive and the way I'm going to feed the conductive thread through the bow tie so it doesn't touch any of these visible ones is there's these layers in here and I'm going to feed everything through there and come right up only when I need to and that way th there's a no chance that any of the wires will touch each other. Okay, be back after I do that. Okay, so I have finished all my sewing and all the battery attachments. So this is the uh, the big moment. I usually test it before I do it live on video, <laughs> but I didn't this time. So uh, at the beginning of the video, I alluded to uh, pork fest. So um, maybe some some of you people have heard of it, but um, anyways, this year I found out that uh, Jeffrey Tucker is going. Jeffrey Tucker is uh, kind of a big name in the libertarian philosophy, um, anarcho-capitalist circles. And uh, anyways, I just found out he was going, and I thought it was kind of cool because he uh, he only wears bow ties. I'm pretty sure. He loves bow ties. So, Jeffrey, I'm going to send this video to you. You're going to see this working, <laughs> hopefully. And uh, and you can buy it for Bitcoin only, of course. So uh, I'll come find you at, uh, at Porkfest and see if we can strike a deal. <laughs> so, um, okay, let's see. Oh, we have to turn the ring on. I'm sorry. The ring hairpiece. It was a ring. And I turned it into a... All right, so let me do this way. So I'm either going to squeal for joy or see smoke and um, scream an expletive. Okay, so this should be pushed down. Okay, so that one doesn't work. <laughs> And let's see. Open this up. Could be the battery, but I seriously doubt it. Let me see. Push this down. try this one. Alright, so that one works. So I have to figure out why this one doesn't work. A connection isn't made somewhere. So I'll be right back. Okay, so um, let's see. I fixed it. It was no big deal. It, when I used the alligator clips on the battery terminal the, the positive and negative, it was fine. So I think I didn't wrap enough conductive thread around um, this. So I just got another length and wrapped it around and uh, seems to be fine. Like even if I kind of wobble it, it's good. So Jeffrey Tucker, <laughs> it works. So I really like the red, red and black are cool. Oh, put the, put the hair thing back on. Oh, this is a little too much. Let's get a good picture of this. Yay. Cool. <laughs> really fun. So this bow tie would probably last on these batteries. 
uh, three or four hours quite a bit and these batteries are pretty cheap and uh, this is so neat oops forgot that <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and putting up with uh, my experimentation. This is a pretty good project. I, um, it's, it's, uh, works well with the bow type because there's, um, a lot of layers that you can feed in between and, and hide the, uh, the thread so that you don't see, uh, so you don't get any problems with, uh, <laughs> with smoke. All right. Well, it's really late. It's two o'clock in the morning and I'm so glad this finally worked. <laughs> And uh, thanks so much for watching.